Yeah, okay, that's working. Oh, yeah, I have a couple of people asking there. Um, yeah, basically your pyramids are like a, uh, a waste, uh, well, it's not waste, but <clears throat> a nuclear core storage facility. And you basically, you build your engine and your ship over top of one of those. Um, and the chambers inside, that's when you come back and you land. And you, uh, or if you have to abort it, you dump your, your core into that king's chamber thingy inside. And then when it cools, you, uh, but I mean cool, I mean the uh, nucleation part of things, where it's fissioning off and sending out neutrons. Um, kind of get your thorium salt rea sodium reactors kind of go along that lines and you have a, a bit of an idea. Although it's not to, you know, boil water and make tea. <laughs> and, and steam the insect off. The, uh, what do you call it, the useless eaters? Yeah, right. Like everything with radioactive steam. Yeah, well, I hope that helps. Yeah, that's that's about it. They just make Im improvised landing pads, just like Stonehenge, but that's a different kind. Yeah, and you know, you use the, you use that to get your feet fusion up to make a uh, fission. And there you go. You can run it on different things. Even U-238. Gold looks really good. <clears throat> and it gives you the, the shielding attributes until that's ablated away. By which time you're pretty well out of engine power anyhow. So you know, you're not making as much gamma releases, cosmic ray releases. Well, I hope that answers you. Um, there you go. We'll just upload this. As, uh, and that's basically what, what the Syrian robotic mission to check out Earth after it went unexpectedly back into an ice age and uh, we all went through that 13,000 years ago and it started to thaw and well, I guess the Syrians decide to send a robotic mission. You've all seen the Egyptian gods. That was kind of like, <clears throat> I guess somebody had a sense of humor that was putting these things together. <laughs> Even though there was a regressed hominoid that, okay. well, you know, that's a whole other story. Uh, by the way, that's what your, you, you know, that's your entry level interplanetary fuel is that, your nukes. So you can learn how to handle fusion and figure it out for yourselves. Without destroying one another. That's the key thing. I can get power to destroy worlds. You have to test yourself. If you blow yourself up, you fail the test, and you can't leave your planet. It seems so. That's pretty simply. Eh? That's the way it goes. And there's other things that can blow you up too. From asteroids on up. Oh, hope you enjoyed the walk. Hey, kitty. Meow. Cat on dog action. Look at that. She loves her puppies. Cindy's mom ran her through her paces when she was just getting them. Mums will do that. Hey, well. <clears throat> hope you enjoyed um, a little bit of fine April. Trying to, trying to rain. Hopefully not radioactive. Could be. There's still 
emitting lots from the reactors and they're still burning off all that other stuff and re-emit the, the rubble. Incinerate it and readmit it.